Hello, it's your boy Zavidov. Welcome back to Champions League predictions. In match day three, I got an exact score. I was close a few times actually. So I got nine outcomes out of 16. Not too bad, but score line, just a one. A few goals off there. I got the result. Um, what was I close on? I was, a, I was really close on this. <laughs> really close on this. Uh, Real Madrid, uh, just a little bit off by the goals, but got the result. A goal off, very close in this one, very close. You know, Bayern didn't score until like the 70, 70th minute or something. Then they scored four in the last 15. Pretty crazy. Um, and that's the exact score. Yeah, this was a perfect prediction. I literally said in the video, United to win 3-2, Ronaldo late winner. That's what happened. I don't know how I got that, but I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, a goal off with Chelsea as well. A goal off with Juve, so... I could have gotten a great match day here. I could have gotten like six, seven exact scores, but it wasn't to be. I was a goal off multiple times. It is what it is. On to match day four. Wolfsburg v Salzburg. Um, where are they? Wolfsburg obviously haven't done too well. Salzburg on seven points. They are flying. And um, I think because it's in Germany, I'll give Wolfsburg a draw. I don't think they'll win. Um... Just judging by the record, there have been teams that have started poorly and still qualified. Atalanta, two years ago, I think it was two years ago, they lost their first three games. They drew the fourth game. They still qualified and they got to the quarterfinals and they were only two minutes away from getting to the semis as well. So it could be turned around, but I don't think it will for Wolfsburg. I think they'll fail to win again, but I think they will draw. 1-1 uh, draw, I reckon, for Wolfsburg against Salzburg. And that would put Salzburg in a great position as well. Malmö v Chelsea. Chelsea, I think, will win. I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0. Yeah, come to win for Chelsea. I think they'll be fine. Dinamo Kiev v Barcelona. Um, honestly, this could be anything. Barcelona aren't playing very well. Dinamo did lose. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, <sighs> nil nil draw, a boring nil nil draw. And that's what I'm going to say. What's the table looking like anyway? Barca third on three points. They only win against Dinamo, which was what like one was it one nil? I can't remember. But it, it wasn't a comfortable win. Uh, that's for sure. This time they're away. For some reason, I'm saying a draw. Yeah, a draw. Where are Chelsea, by the way? I'm just seeing where they'll be if they win. Uh, they're in Juve's group. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Still, still, their win, I think, will get them in a great position. Bayern Munich v Benfica. They won 4-0 last time. I'm going to say it's 4-0 again. Villarreal v Young Boys. I think it's going to be a 2-0 Villarreal victory. Atalanta v Man United. This is a massive game. This is a massive game. I'm thinking either United win or it's a draw. I've got a feeling. <laughs> because even though they've started poorly, they won the last game. And... Wait, where's their group? There. They are top. Obviously, losing this game isn't be or end or They'll still be up there. But if you lose, there are some problems there. Especially if Villarreal win their game. So, uh... You don't, I'm sure they don't want to drop into the Europa League. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 United win. Or do I do feel Atalanta can win this game? I'm thinking either this or this. 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to stick with a draw. But I got a feeling that United win. Uh, after, they got some confidence from the Spurs game. Spurs are poor though, to be fair. Um, but they did beat Atalanta two weeks ago. Yes, that was Old Trafford, but I don't know. I'm going to say draw. I'm going to say draw. Sevilla v Lille. Neither has done too great. Having said that, they both got a chance of qualifying because Wolfsburg haven't done well, done too well either. There's a massive game, this. 2-1. Um, narrow win to Sevilla, I think. Although Sevilla do have a habit of dropping into Europa League and winning it. So uh, you, I guess we'll never know. I guess we, we, we are, we are going to know. By the by end of this group stage. Juventus, I think, will beat Zenit uh, 2-0, I reckon. 2-0 to Juventus against Zenit. Porto, I think, will draw with Milan 1-1. Milan have been poor 
in this Champions League season, obviously. Lost all three games and uh, Porto have a genuine chance of qualifying. Although I don't think they will, considering the other two teams in the group. But at this point in time, they got a chance. They're going to want to beat Milan, but I think in Italy, at the San Siro, I think Milan will at least get a point in this game. Could be wrong, but obviously it's an easier game than Atletico or Liverpool. Porto are still a very good team, obviously, but if, if, if they're going to get a point out of any game, it's Porto at home in this group. So I reckon Milan will get a point. Real Madrid, I think, will beat Shakhtar. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Real Madrid victory. Man City will beat Club Brugge 4-1, I reckon. Um, I think they'll concede. They've not been as good defensively lately, I think. Um, but I think they'll still come out comfortable winners. Leipzig, I think, will lose 2-1 at home to PSG. Liverpool, I think, will beat Atletico Madrid. Actually, nah, you know what? Actually, yeah, yeah they will. They will. <laughs> they will. 1-0, I'm going to say. A cheeky 1-0. Um, they played well in Spain away. Um... And I think this could be a great, you know, second game between them. But I think Liverpool will edge it again, I think. But this time with a clean sheet. Sporting Lisbon, I think, will beat Besiktas. I'm going to say it's a 2-0 win to Sporting. Besiktas have obviously uh, lost all three games. I hate, I hate having to scroll up all the way here just to see uh, where they are on the table. Um... This is where I go blind. All right, they're the bottom two teams. Sporting obviously need to win if they want to stand a chance at uh, going through. Ideally, they'd want Ajax to beat Dortmund again. Um, but yeah, I, I think Sporting will win that game. Definitely 2-0 at home. Bristol Dortmund v Ajax. Massive game. Ajax obviously did great against Bristol Dortmund. They were fantastic. Um, I think this time will be a draw. I'm going to say it's a 2-2 draw between uh, Dortmund and Ajax. Two good teams that play good football, so I do expect a great game. Sheriff v Inter Milan. Sheriff have done okay so far. They've done okay. And I tipped them to provide another shock. They did beat Real Madrid away, so I'm going to say they will beat Inter Milan at home. Not the best of logics, but I think they can definitely do it. Even though they just lost to them, I think they can do it. Sheriff can do this. Can you imagine they went through the knockouts? That'd be crazy. I would like to see it, personally. Where are they currently? The second. If they even get a draw in this game. Anything's possible. But if they win. If they win. If they win and Real Madrid win. They're a game away from making it. That's, uh, they got a double chance of making the knockouts. That's pretty crazy. I want this to happen. I really do. Because a team like Sheriff making two knockouts would be amazing. It would be a miracle. A football miracle. Anyway, yeah. Uh, those are my predictions. Sheriff to beat Inter Milan 2-1. 2-2 between Borussia Dortmund and Ajax. Sporting Lisbon to beat Besiktas 2-0. Liverpool to beat Atletico Madrid 1-0. PSG to beat Leipzig 2-1. Man City to beat Club Brugge 4-1. Real Madrid to beat Shakhtar 3-1. 1-1 draw between Milan and Porto. Juventus to beat Zenit 2-0. Sevilla to beat Lille narrowly 2-1. Atalanta to draw 2-2 Man United. I've gone for too many draws here. Too many draws. Villarreal to beat Young Boys. Okay, that. Okay, I've said it again. Villarreal to win that game 2-0. Bayern Munich to beat Benfica 4-0. Dinamo Kiev to draw 0-0 with Barcelona in a boring game. Chelsea to beat Malmo 3-0 away from home. And Wolfsburg to draw 1-1 with Salzburg. And that would make the tables very interesting, that's for sure. Let me know your predictions down below. So I'm a bit under the weather today, that's why I sound a bit weird. But uh, yeah, let me know your predictions down below. This is your boy Zavidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.